Matthew Hatton is a proud fighter. He's shown up in shape and to win. And Canelo Alvarez is trying to keep this incredible momentum that he's built up going. First thing we're looking to see is to see how Hatton reacts to Alvarez's power shots. Good stiff jab from Alvarez, and he throws a hook that Hatton blocked most of. Double jab for Hatton. Good right hand to the body from Alvarez. Wings your right hand up top. Hook to the body, right hand from Alvarez. And he fainted and tried to lead right. And heavy, heavy hands. And that's why I say he's a little bit different, different from most of the Mexican fighters that I've seen in the past. He's not a guy who comes in with mediocre hand speed and mediocre power. He has exceptional power. Wait, he came into this fight in better condition. Hatton, 47, and he only has 16 knockouts in his 47 pro fights. Well, you like that jab that Alvarez has? He, he loves it up with a hook. Love that jab. That's and if he is, they will cause him to tire more in the long run. If he doesn't get a quick knockout. Right hand that landed to the head of Hatton. Hatton tries to come back. Alvarez, Hatton just 7 of 42 overall. Hatton comes out with a double jab and a right hand to start round two. Alvarez is so much bigger and stronger. Much clean. Doubles up that left hand. Check. Best shot of the fight for Alvarez. Like his brother. Try to wear... I gotta tell you, so far I think Matthew Hatton's fighting pretty well under the circumstances, you know, considering all the advantages you just. Oh, oh, good left hook to the potty. Speaking of baseball metaphors, I mentioned before, the punches sound different when. Like I said, for a Mexican sensation, he's a very strong puncher. When Alvarez throws them, they thud differently than other fighters. Uh, thighs, he's got a lot of power base. Everything about him is against the Mexican, the normal Mexican regimen. And he uses that hook to the body, does Alvarez. Left hand to the chin, right hand to the nose, and some blood from Hatton's nose as Hatton digs in with a couple of hooks. Counter right by Alvarez, and a short right inside from Alvarez. Oh, good left hook, right hand, left hook again. They both throw left. Alvarez is hurt more. Started to care less about his power and start to impose his will on Matthew. Knock him out or knock him down because he doesn't have a, chance, have a chance of doing anything to hurt you. And that's what Alvarez is feeling right now. Yeah, it, you know, like, the point here is to see how long... <laughs> Alvarez opens up, uses that left hook to start the sequence. Hatton rolls off the rope. Watch your hand! Watch your hand! Left hand from Hatton, and then Alvarez fires back. If Hatton could punch this Alvarez, then he will have to change later on is that he's not afraid of getting hit. He does not run from punches at all. I mean, he tries to cover up a little bit, but... Or move from the even. Exactly. He's never meant to get hit. And I noticed that in a lot of his earlier fights. Hasn't really learned respect for a punch yet. The head movement would serve him well. <laughs> Movement has to improve on, I mean, immediately. Because if he becomes champ tonight, he's going to become a target right away. A lot of guys are sitting at home right now, such as Winky Wright, praying that he wins. One other thing, I want to point out. He's wearing a Japanese boxing glove. Oh, winning. Oh, 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 oh. Supposedly, to protect your hands. Now, I don't know if Canelo's got bad hands, but he's got the boxing glove. Three to nothing, Alvarez. 
good point Harold makes that even though he doesn't have great hand speed, Canelo, he nevertheless puts punches together. And he does have good power, so maybe he's using those gloves for protection. And he won't turn 21 until July 18th. Talk about the recipe for a great action fighter and doesn't move his head. <laughs> he, there are going to be some classic oh, wars hurt. in his future. That yeah, hurt really a left bad, hand yeah. to the body. Yeah, that hurt bad. And you saw Hatton sort of cover up. That one hit the sweet spot. Then he goes with a right hook to the body and a right cross from Alvarez. Doubles oh. up the left hand. Cut. Cut over the left eye of Hatton. Plenty of time to go here in round four. Alvarez doubles up that left again and a right. What a good shot. See, right there, he's not protecting himself. Big shot on him right there. That's the things he got to work on as he proceeds to go forward with his career. Left, right to the body, right to the head from Alvarez. He got to work on that defense. Hatton's career has been cut. Boy, what does Hatton need to do to sort of change the momentum here where Hatton... And they stopped the fight because of the cut on the clean shot. I mean, I don't see how else he wins the fight. Yeah, a beast like his brother was really coming at Canelo hard. We find out a lot about Canelo tonight. Although even then, he's so over, he's so outside. 7-0 with 26 knockouts against Matthew Hatton. 41 and 4, 16 knockouts earlier tonight. Adrian Broner, unanimous 99-91. It was a closer fight than 99-91. I mentioned earlier, good left hand to the body by Alvarez again. Hatton goes back to the body. That we know Alvarez can hit the two light of a punch. That's it. This is about getting the promotional tool <laughs> that is around Alvarez's waist, get him in, getting him more exposed and getting people excited, and they should be excited about him. He's an exciting fighter. Ten seconds. Yes, oh, we come to the end of round number five on HBO's Boxing After Dark. Not at all. And you don't need a belt attached to anything to have a legendary night. And I was going to say to Alvarez is nothing against Alvarez. <laughs> of course not. And it should be noted, some tough guys early in his career when he was a teenager. Action he has to the fans. His promoter is being very careful with him. Without a doubt, but any time you can get 35 wins in a row, I don't care what nobody say, something's up and through the ranks. That starts fighting better level of opposition. It's going to create even more intrigue in his fights. You never saw Roy Jones in his attitude right now. His attitude is kill, kill, kill. But that's attitude. Do you think he has the physical attitude? Just threw a lot of punches, but he was a technician who really, really didn't like to get hit. Really? You think that? First time I saw him, I said, here's a guy who's going to be on the top pound for pound list. Not because of his offense only, but because of his defense. If you look at this kid here, he's different because he don't care about defense. Hell, he does Alvarez. He's already a top five ticket seller, it seems. <laughs> Temple the fight. If the doctor is sitting there and he says to himself, Hatton's taking enough, he can jump in and start in the Unified Rules and the Association of Boxing Division. Six to nothing, Alvarez. And it's not as if Hatton doesn't throw back enough. It's just Alvarez, in certain respects, also showing some patience here. Feel the will of Alvarez just wearing and wearing and wearing on Hatton. What a combination by Alvarez. Rushing to the wind and trying to roll, run over him, Roy. No, he's not. He's doing very small what he's doing. Until that late <laughs> shot just <laughs> then. Take it. One point. Get him. One point, hit him. One point, hit him in the break. Ready? Go. Who did he take? <laughs> Don't look hard. Come on, break. Take it from Come Alvarez. On, let's stop it now. Let's go. He didn't get him in port to it like he took it from him. You think he's afraid of the fans? <laughs> <laughs> he's supposed to grab the fighter by the glove and say one point from this guy. Well, Alvarez wants to get that point back. <laughs> Vicious body shot from Alvarez on Hatton here in round seven. Listen to this crowd. News fans want to cheer for him so bad. 
Hatton's only been stopped once in his career. Fights back and eats a right hand. Hatton comes back to the left and holds on. <laughs> Here they were tied up. Hatton hit him behind the head. So he hits Hatton in the face on the break, but the ref had already called for a break by the time he hit Hatton in the face. So that's why I think. Through 33 in the entire round. Punches total. Bullish, but you can't outbox this kid because the kid punches too hard from outside. So why would you stay outside and allow him to pop you with the. Alvarez kind of missed with that right hand. Bounce. See that? See that? See the room is getting with that hook. You can't give a puncher that kind of room. You see Alvarez now walking in with his hands down. Because he has not been able to land the shot really clean posture. Roy, it looks to me like he wants to sucker Hatton into an exchange. He does. That's the shots he wants right there because Hatton is giving him room to throw those shots. Like a bass drum. I mentioned Hatton had only been stopped once in his. Get out of there! Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Alvarez opens up at the end of the eighth. He had the best left hook to the body until this kid. Of course, Joe Frazier and the list goes on. Let go of his hands. Happy. Why are you back up and give this kid room to punch? <laughs> you didn't anticipate the guy be around in the ninth round. Just did it in something tells me he'd be on weight. Uh, as many shots as he takes. With that said, though, Hatton has thrown 30 punches to Alvarez's 16 in this round. Well, Alvarez is a big punches, too. I told you. Big shots take a lot out of the fight. Especially the one catching him. Left hook to the body. As he knows that will keep Hatton. Oh, good Ooh. shot. Good shot. That's what he's been looking for all fight, Alvarez. He wants to catch Hatton in an exchange. Oh, Hatton landed, hook. Hatton landed a good left yeah. hook. Alvarez steps in with a combination. Hatton trying to tie him up and does. Alvarez throws a beautiful triple left hook. Hatton showing his grit. Alvarez's power. Good uppercut inside from Alvarez. Stop. My and Hatton is as game as a bite. That Eric Morales used to protect his hands, that Floyd Mayweather used to protect his hands, and the panic is out in front. Anyway, eight rounds uh, to nothing. Canelo Alvarez with one even. I don't think he would have got uh, protecting that chin. Uh, he's got, no, you do what he's doing. You know, he's taking his time, he's being, and he's still holding the composure like a veteran. And well, you gotta love that about this kid. He's in the game already. It's amazing. At 20 years. Yeah, this is his 223rd round as a pro. 109th round. V. Canelo. He is a prodigy at the age of 20 to fighting and to already have the resume he has. He's landing a beautiful. Oh, oh low, blow. low blow by Hatton. Oh. And then Alvarez hits him off the break <laughs> and a little out. Lou Moret wants Hatton to get up. Yeah. He's, he see Hatton while the holder land a bad left low blow. Looked like it was almost purposely. And Canelo responded to it, came with a beautiful left hook to the jaw. Then Hatton thinks about Hollywood and goes down for a minute. <laughs> Now, oh, 
Oh, that hurt him. Left and right. Yeah, that hurt him bad. A lot as a young fighter. Great. And I love how Alvarez pivots around and throws the Alvarez doesn't allow himself to get tied up this time. Mm -mm. Oh, he wants to finish off Hatton. Great right hand off the left. Combination from Alvarez. Hatton comes back at him. And I love the way Hatton. You know what this kid reminds me of? Canelo. And but, a ramp yes. Barkley ran over him in two rounds it, eventually. Exactly. But this is. Hanging in there and oh. trying to get his big shots off of his own. But this young to connect with people the way he's connected. What well, the Mexican fighter, so. Yet he gives the crowd their money's worth. That's exactly right. He's not afraid to share punches. Oh, good fight. Uh, good left hook to the. He's definitely an action packed figure waiting to happen in boxing. Because they want to see action. They want to see a guy who doesn't care about it, but he really doesn't care. Now the drama here, as I see it, Matthew Great. Hatton's championship. Can he go the distance? Whereas in Matthew Hatton, 12th and final round, 154 pound belt at stake. No knockdowns in the fight. Alvarez has landed a huge. Oh, thumping right hands from Alvarez to the head of Hatton. Laid on his right side, Hatton did, and Alvarez did just what he was supposed to do. Very close to you now. Good shot. Counter right hand from Hatton. Don't hold. He's giving it one help. With the limited tools that he has, he's giving it a one heck of an effort. Yeah, the distance. I mean, he changed the story of the fight from can Alvarez stop? Flatter, so Alvarez, the 20 year old out of Mexico. Using left hands to the body all night long. Hatton with a combination of his own. I tell you, I like the combination of Alpha Red. Oh, good Left shot. and a right to the ear. That hurt him bad. What happens when you don't hold? <laughs> so now we'll see that to the referee. Yes, I yes, I oh, Hatton's game. He's going to make it to oh. the end. Tempo! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, we go to the scorecards. The winner will be the new WBC Super Welterweight World Champion. All three judges, Jack Reese, Raul Caiz Sr., and Joel Scobie scored about the same 119 to 108. The winner by unanimous decision, Damas y Caballeros. De Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Saul, Canelo.